Here's my metal mato tank with some uh, first person video equipment attached. This time it's not just a, a camera attached to the to the tank that records video to the flash disk on the camera. This is a actual drive by video system that transmits the video image to a receiver that you then look at and control the tank by. So the uh, FPV system basically is a combination of this camera which I bought at Hobby King. It's a, the CCD is actually made by Sony. Uh, it just comes on this board. I made this mount for the camera itself. Then the pan and tilt system comes as a kit also got from China for about five bucks and you have to add your own servos. Uh, I added a uh, it's a regular servo for the tilt part and the pan part has a 180 degree servo so you can see so you can turn at a greater uh, range. Um, then the stand for the pan and tilt system I made from scratch and it's actually a pedestal it goes down into the floor of the hatch and is held by three screws so you don't need to uh, keep the pan and tilt or the, the FPV system on the tank if you don't want to and when you remove it there's no external screw marks or holes or screws or anything like that and you put the hatches back on and uh, you'd never know you had it on um, so that's that uh, it's controlled by this switch for pan and this switch for tilt. So pan and tilt. We can see that and then the tilt is like that. And then this switch turns the receiver or rather the transmitter on and off. This switch here. There are a few options for viewing the uh, video. Uh, one is on a laptop and you have to have some kind of a capture card. I've just got a USB dongle in this laptop and uh, that comes, there's a receiver uh, I've got back here that goes into the USB dongle and we can see the uh, image on the on the screen um, the other option is something smaller that doesn't involve a laptop and this is the extreme small situation but it's very handy because it doesn't require a separate receiver it's a uh, receiver built in to a little viewer but it's only a two and a half inch screen and while the picture is pretty good it's pretty small and so it's kind of hard to drive looking at something that small but it's kind of handy it does have a built-in DVR so if you want to record video from this you can but I discovered that the uh, maximum frame rate seems to be about 10 so it's not as good of a video capture function as a laptop computer would be or or some kind of dedicated DVR system anyway uh, it's pretty cute little device and like I said it's it's a 5.8 gigahertz uh, receiver built into it so you don't have to carry around a separate battery and receiver and laptop 